What's going on guys, Sticks here with the Token Minorities, bringing you another deck on Pokemon TCGO, and today I'm bringing you a deck centered around arguably the worst GX to come out to date, and that is Coma OGX. And before I get into the deck, just a reminder that if you guys like this video or found it helpful, please leave a like, drop a comment, click that subscribe button, helps us out a lot, and lets us do more cool stuff for you guys. And as for the question of the day, like I said, Coma O is arguably the worst GX to come out I mean, granted, there have only been a couple sets and a couple promos, but Como -O is still freaking awful. I mean, Wishy Washy is the only thing that I could even see being kind of comparable to it. And Wishy Washy, at the very least, has the niche of being a big HP basic. I mean, you can use Wishy Washy as kind of like the pseudo Waylord in a uh, Wishy Washy stall deck. So, I mean, at least there's something there. But Como -O, honestly, it's just atrocious it is really really bad however in this deck i'm going to try to do something with it and my question of the day is what do you guys think could be done to coma o that would make it not garbage tier i mean i'm not saying like make it good because okay all you need to do to make coma o good is turn shred into like 190 base power change adamantine press into an ability that allows you to once per turn draw cards until you have six in your hand or and just make coma o completely broken i don't mean that I mean, what can we do to Como -O to make it at least somewhat usable and not the worst GX ever? Asking me, I would have to say that, okay, so it has two attacks, Shred and Animat Animantine Press, and the Ultra Uppercut GX. First of all, I wouldn't change its typing or its uh, GX attack just because I think that, you know what, those two we can deal with. And also, Ultra Uppercut is actually pretty nice. With the two attacks, I would actually, first of all, I would switch Shred and Adamantine Press. I would make Adamantine Press be the four energy attack. That way you can kind of reduce the number of damage that is done to you while also hitting for some solid damage. And then I would up the damage done by Adamantine Press from 130 to 160 so that Como with a choice band actually has the potential to one-shot some stuff. And then I would change, uh, I would put Shred up here make it a lightning and a fighting energy and then make it uh, you know what let's make it 80 damage because it's on a stage two actually hold on how much is high dragon yeah high dragon's 80 on a basic let's go ahead and change shred to two energy for 80 on coma o just be the lightning and the uh fighting energy actually you know what even three energy but i'd change it to two just to make it a little bit better Okay, and then Shred, have do, do 80. So here's breakdown of what I would change on Como. Put Shred up here, 2 energy, 80 damage. Same effect. Adamantine Press, put it right here. Same energy cost, 160 damage with the ability to reduce damage by 30. So that's what I do to Como to try to make it a little bit better. Let me know what you guys think could be done and why. I mean, if you want, you can completely just break the card, break the meta, do all that. Otherwise, I'm actually curious to see what type of realistic stuff you guys would do to Como to make it a little bit better. But anyway, on to the deck, like I said, centered around Como. -O. And if you guys look at this list, you might notice that it is very, very similar to the Mega Rayquaza list that I did a little while ago, the Dragon Mega Rayquaza. And at that, to that, I say, well, you caught me. If there is a card, if there's a Dragon card that I really have no real idea what to do with like there's no inherent pairing i'm just gonna throw it in with reshiram and hydragon so that you can power it up as quickly as possible and i mean those guys just kind of pair well with it to begin with so this is the combination that i'm going with to try to make coma o do something at the very least but like i said it is reshiram with the Turbo Blaze ability, this is our energy acceleration. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may attach a Fire Energy card from your hand to one of your Dragon Pokemon. This way, uh, Reshiram is just our energy acceleration. We have it active, attached to Koma O or Jangma O or Hakama O in the background. Power it up. That way, we can potentially shred or Sky or Ultra Uppercut. I'm gonna say Sky Uppercut, just because I mean that's what inherently comes to mind when I think of that. So I apologize, but yeah use reshiram to power this guy up in the background and then high dragon gives us free retreat that way like turn one or turn two when we can't shred just yet we use reshiram switch between them get multiple attachments per turn try to set up our board as good well as powerful as possible that way como can do something 
And uh, as for the numbers of Pokemon, 1-2 of Lele and Shaman, just because that's kind of what I've been going with recently and it works out well for me. So I decided if it ain't broke, don't fix it. 2 High Dragon for Dragon Road ability if there's a stadium in play. The retreat cost of each of your Dragon Pokemon is 2 less. That's perfect for uh, Koma O and Reshiram. Both of those have two retreat cost. They essentially retreat for free. Actually, not essentially. They do retreat for free if High Dragon is on the field and a Sky Field is in play. 3 2 3 of Jangma O, Hakama O, and Koma O. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. And also, I'm warning you now, I'm going to screw up those names. They're just so weird that I'm I'm going to mess them up. Just giving you a quick disclaimer right there. But 3 2 3, just, I mean. Koma O is our main attacker. If your opponent knocks out three Koma O, you lose the game anyway. So that's why I'm only running three of those. Four Reshiram, so we can start with that as much as possible. Get that out there. Get another one on the bench. That way we can switch between the two. Turbo Blaze, get as much energy in play as possible. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward line of Pokemon uh, with decks that I think are actually pretty bad. I try not to tech as much as I possibly can just because, well, first of all, Koma O is incredibly clunky to get set up because not only is it in a stage two, but it has a very expensive attack cost for relatively low damage output. So that in itself makes it more difficult to get Koma O set up because you don't have the luxury of waiting on it because otherwise your opponent will just get set up and the minuscule amount of damage that you're doing will just not be able to compete. So you want to get Koma O set up turn two and... Yeah, this deck is just centered around doing that and doing that in the most efficient way possible. So no techs. Sorry about that. As for the items running one field blower, just for kind of really for Parallel City and Garbodor, because otherwise those will shut us down. Garbodor, if my opponent manages to get it set up really early, then I can't use Turbo Blaze or Dragon Road and that shuts down my attacks quite a bit. So I have a field blower in there and uh, one level ball to search out Jangma O or Harkama O. Two rare candy, try to go straight from Jangma O into Koma O. And then as for the recursion, we're actually running a decent amount. One uh, special charge and one super rod. I'm running special charge because enhanced hammer and special energy hate seems to be a lot more common than I initially thought it would be. So I'm running that. That way we can recur our double dragons. One super rod to put back. Pokemon and also energy at the same time just because we have to attach energy from hand So instead of rescue stretcher, I'm using super rod for its ability to put energy back in the deck as well To switch that way we can potentially get a turn one bright wing off in some situations I know something I forgot to mention Reshiram can also attack with bright wing if you have a double dragon and two fires It can bright wing for 110. That's not bad for a basic Pokemon, slap a choice band on there, it's hitting for 140 against EXs and GXs. So Reshiram is actually a pretty decent backup attacker in case you run up against things like, well, I guess, okay, I guess there is no safeguard Pokemon that stops from GXs right now, and uh, Glaceon, uh, Como O beats anyway. Actually, that's one cool thing about Como. So Como, its only potential niche in the entire world is that it cannot be stopped by Glaceon. It's an evolution Pokemon that cannot be stopped by Glaceon. Granted, we have Reshiram that can also beat Glaceon, but that's beside the point. Como -Oh can take on Glaceon 1v1 because of Shred, and once the new Alolan Ninetales comes out that has Safeguard, then maybe Como -Oh has... Actually, you know what? Como -Oh still won't have any use. I'm just, just saying, throwing that out there right now. Como -Oh is very bad, but has very, very, very tiny niche of being able to take on Glaceon. Uh, two switches to get as much energy on board, switch between Turbo Blazes and still have our retreat for the turn. Four Ultra Ball to guarantee to get what we want when we want, and four VS Seeker to reuse all of our supporters. And you guys might look at my item line and be like, wait, Sticks, you've been cutting down a lot on items recently because of Garbodor. Why is this deck so full of items? Well, this deck is so bad that it almost auto loses to Garbodor anyway, so I was like, you know what, I'll take the auto loss on that matchup. At the very least, I can try to get some consistency with items for the uh, other, for all the other matchups that I face. So, yeah, we just kind of take the big L against Garbodor and 90% of the competitive meta. But our items do come in handy occasionally. Three Skyfield, just because we want to have as many Pokemon as possible on the field. Get like a Hydreigon, play a Shaman, a Lele, a couple Reshirams, a couple Jangma-O. Oh, that was the best stadium for this type of deck. 
We have 3-3 three, three of N and Sycamore, as well as two Lysander. That's just what I've been going with recently, and I really like that line. One Pokemon Center Lady, because once Coma O is up there, it is very expensive and resource intensive to get another one set up. So we want to try to keep this Coma O active as long as possible and attacking Pokemon Center Lady helps out with that. Also gives us a out against uh Lapras's Ice Beam GX be able to just be like, yeah, we're healed again. We're gonna keep attacking. One Kikui, I like this card so much recently, I really, really do, because that extra 20 damage comes in so handy. And one thing that I have kind of noticed now is the combination of Choice Band plus Kikui allows Como O to one shot Tauros. I mean, I'm just throwing that out there. Choice Band plus Kikui allows Como O to one shot Tauros with Shred. So uh, Como O is OP, just throwing that out there. Three Choice Band to improve our damage because 130 for four energy is freaking pitiful. Really needs to be boosted, but Choice Band will try to help us out a little bit. But unfortunately, even with Choice Band, only hit for 160. Again, that's why I'm doing the Kikui. That way we can hit for 170, 180. Four Double Dragon to be able to power up Como O as quickly as possible. Take care of that nasty uh, Fighting and Lightning Retreat or Attack Cost, as well as the Fire and Lightning on Reshiram. And the Psychic and Dark on High Dragon just covers a lot of bases with our dragons and then seven fire energy to be able to take advantage of turbo blaze so uh yeah that is the deck i am warning you right now i am probably just going to get utterly destroyed because this deck is very bad so bear with me sorry about that let's go ahead and find some matches with this deck Alrighty, we have found one against uh looks like just a regular water deck but uh yeah uh, and it's, uh, Lelouch, Vison, Lelouch, Vison, I don't even know. Uh, we do lose the coin flip, so we will not be able to go first. That's, uh, kind of unfortunate, unless I'm able to get the right cards necessary to pull off a turn one bright wing with a choice band to maybe, like, knock out a Manaphy or something like that. But my opponent, still running Trainer's Mail. That is, that's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it pays off for him. But, I mean, in, uh, this current format, Trainer's Mail is something that I've actually started to completely forego just because that's an extra 80 damage that Garbodor can get on you. So my opponent does start Manaphy. And I have a combination of cards that could potentially lead to something. Um, I mean, unless my opponent plays a Fighting Fury Belt down, then uh, I will not be able to knock out the Manaphy. But either way, looks we have a very, very solid hand to start with. My opponent gets rid of an N. Well, that probably means that they have a VS Seeker to be able to get that end back and put me back down to a hand of six and not seven. Uh, okay, Fighting Fury Belt onto the Lapras. That's fine because uh, Sky Uppercut GX will actually be able to one-shot Lapras even through the Fighting Fury Belt. So my opponent does get an end. Kind of sad. I mean, I had a pretty, pretty good hand that I could have worked with, but I mean, hopefully I'll draw into something decent. Um, well, I draw into something that's going to make me get rid of quite a bit of stuff. <laughs> I mean, at least I have a draw supporter. But in the process, I will be getting rid of my special charge as well as a Lysander. And I won't get to... I won't get a field blower in an effective situation. I'll be able to field blower now, which will get rid of a Fighting Fury Belt, but not when I absolutely want to. Uh, and there we go. Let's play the Skyfield down. Sycamore, get rid of another Skyfield, which definitely didn't want to do. And okay, I get an Ultra Ball, so let's grab the Hydreigon, go ahead and Turbo Blaze onto the jangma O. Jeez, these names are just messed up. Uh, let's play the Double Dragon there, Ultra Ball, get rid of the Kakui and the Fire Energy to grab a... Do I want to grab a Reshiram or a Shaman? Let's just grab a Shaman to be able to potentially draw into a Reshiram and another Fire Energy, maybe, possibly, I don't know. Um, okay, I get a Hakamo and a Reshiram. So I'm just going to play that Reshiram down there. If my opponent uh, is able... Actually, I'm in a good spot right now. Because if I'm able to draw into an Ultra Ball, I'll be able to get a Komo. And then just be able to attach, whether that be with uh, Reshiram's ability or with just a uh, manual attachment. I get a Tapu Lele. This is where I kind of wish I had Skyla in the deck. 
because I would be able to Lele into Skyla, which would grab me an Ultra Ball. But I mean, at the same time, I wouldn't be able to attack. So, I mean, I'm just going to Hakamo for the time being. Play down the Lele. Grab... Let's just grab an N. That way I don't have to get rid of even more supporters. Just because, I mean, I've run into situations with this deck where I have discarded all of my supporters in. Alright. So this works... As long as my opponent does not have a Lysander next turn. If my opponent is able to Lysander in my hakamo -O and just Ice Beam it or Blizzard Burn it to knock it out, then I just kind of die. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't like... I don't actually die. That's over-exaggeration. But that will make me sad. My opponent plays Glaceon. So that's actually really, really nice for us. Because the Glaceon matchup is literally the only reason this card has any decent use at all. Like, Glaceon... I, I, I guess, like, the Glaceon... Glaceon-type decks are the only reason that Coma o is not complete, complete garbage. I mean, don't get me wrong. It is still complete garbage. But it's not complete, complete garbage. There's only one garbage in there, not two. So, at this point, my opponent will be able to Blizzard Burn, knock out my Rush Ram. That is completely fine with me, because he, he's able to take a prize. But I will be able to go immediately into my hakamo -O and evolve it into a coma -O. And I'll even get a, another jang on the bench that I can start powering up in the background in the event that my, uh, that my uh, coma -O gets knocked out, even though I highly doubt that. But at this point, I'm actually going to hold on to my hand. Because I can Ultra Ball for something later. And then just Ultra Uppercut, not Sky Uppercut. My bad. Um, and also the reason that I'm holding on to that is because I have a Kikui in the discard pile. Which I will be able to play. Which will allow me to one-shot this Glaceon. And my opponent does hit an Energy Switch. So he needs to hit... At this point, he needs to hit another Max Elixir and an Energy Switch in order to be able to hit my... In order to be able to actually attack my Como. But instead, he just Lysanders. Uh, what's he going to bring in? Going to bring in the Lele. If I draw into a regular Fighting Energy or a Switch or something like that, I'll be able to discard... I'll be able to... Uh, draw, I'll be able to re manually retreat my Lele and go from there. But for the time being, because I have the Double Dragon, I, I, I don't know. Even if my opponent Crystal Rays, it's not the end of the world. Like, I really do not mind that. So what I am going to do is Ultra Ball grab... Okay, my other hakama -O is prized. Let's just grab a jangma -O And then... I mean, I hate to... Yeah, I mean, I hate to just have to get rid of a VS Seeker like that. But let's just go ahead and end, see if I can get, like, in my Switch. I unfortunately do not. And... I guess I'll just let Lele take a hit. I mean, it's not that big of a deal if Lele takes a hit. It's not like the end of the world because at the very least I can... Actually, you know what? Lele is my way around Glace... Is is usually my way around Glaceon. So, I mean, that's why I don't think Glaceon is super ridiculously strong in this format. I still think it's very, very, very strong. And decks that can't just immediately Lele are in a big... Are in a large amount of trouble. But otherwise, I think that uh, Glaceon is very, very strong. But the fact that Lele is actually an attacker that's in almost every deck really does hinder it quite a bit. However, it still has use. Don't get me wrong. still has use. Uh, it's just nice in this situation that I'm able to completely... Uh, I'm able to attack with my main attacker despite it being an evolution just due to Shred being able to hit through all effects. So once... I guess once... Uh, or if... A safeguard type of deck starts being a little bit stronger than I think Como will be a better but for the time being that's fine I'm just gonna play the choice band onto my Hakamo -O, and then let's just Sycamore I could have gone for a Kikui and try to draw into two cards and actually I draw into a switch so that works out very nicely because what I can do is switch into the Reshiram okay what I was gonna do is switch into the Reshiram turbo plays onto my Jangma -O, and then manually retreat into my uh, coma o to be able to shred to at least put a two hit knockout onto my opponent's glaceon so i mean that was that was the plan right there 
I would have had a, started to get another coma O set up in the background. I mean, granted, I would have needed a rare candy for that. But either way, we are able to come out with the victory. My opponent saw the writing on the wall, knew that he wouldn't be able to get anything else, particularly going before my coma O ran through him. And yeah, coma O was actually able to do something. I can't tell you how long I've been trying to record and just getting swamped, but luckily I get a matchup that is in my favor. So, uh, yeah, Como did something, but you know what? That'd be way too short of a live right there. Let's go ahead and try to find another one where Como can potentially do something else. Alrighty, we have found another one against, uh, Maf Mafariska Y? Maybe? I don't even know how to say that. Mafariska Y. -E. There we go. I'm, I'm just going to say it YE because that looks cooler. Uh, we do lose the coin flip again, so we will not get to go first. Uh, bit unfortunate because this deck really does like going first so I can potentially evolve and attack turn two. But I'm really curious as to what type of deck my opponent is running. Because you don't really see normal... or You don't normally see uh, lightning, lightning and water together. The only thing that comes to mind... Actually, no. The only thing that comes to mind is like a plasma deck. But okay, we see Rocket's handiwork. Okay, I am completely confused as to what my opponent is running. I have absolutely no clue. But I'm pretty sure we're going to find out. Uh, as for my starting hand, it's not bad. I'll be able to Ultra Ball for a Jangma. O. Go ahead and Turbo Blaze onto that. Play down the Shaman for a couple more cards. And then Sycamore away my hand. And I even get a Mulligan card. So, uh... Great. That was exactly what I wanted to draw. Well, exactly what I wanted to discard early game. Uh, so special charge is going to be doing absolutely nothing for me and... Red Ice comes down. That's a little bit scary. Actually, you know what? No, that's not scary at all. What am I talking about? I'll be able to one-shot that with my coma O. So uh, completely disregard what I said. My opponent does end me. I actually do not mind this at all. Yeah, it gives me one less card. But at the same time, I want to be able to save my special charge for later. And, well, speak of the devil. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny. I shuffle my special charge back in my deck and I draw right back into it. And it's a Jolteon? Oh, is this like a Glace? Is this a Glaceon Jolteon Regice deck? That's actually kind of cool, not going to lie. But what I am going to do right here is Ultra Ball. And I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Because, I mean, I just wish I had, that was a level ball and not an ultra ball. But what I can do is get rid of the sky field and the special charge. I mean, yeah, I'm getting rid of the sky field, but I really don't need it. It's just helpful in some situations. Let's play the rush ram down there. Play the jangma O. Oh, go ahead and turbo blaze right on to, okay, I could go on to a rush ram and try to get a turn one Brightwing to potentially knock out the Manaphy with a choice band, but I think the safer play is just doing this and Well, if I draw into double dragon energy, I'm gonna be kicking myself But either way I do get a pretty nice hand. I mean this is actually very solid uh, because I can go ahead and play a or I can play a choice band onto that ultra ball for a shaman draw into a fresh hand of six and if I draw into the double dragon then you know what that's just two prizes that we yep there it is could have had two prizes could have had two prizes this turn but for the time being i'm just gonna pass i'm not gonna attach a double dragon because we saw the rocket's handiwork in my opponent's hand or in my opponent's deck so i'm kind of paranoid that he runs enhanced hammer um oh it's a ninja boy deck well that's kind of cool because he will be able to get a glaceon once again, all right, so we're going to have another Glaceon matchup. This is phenomenal. So I'll actually be able to do something. Um, there's no rare candy in my discard pile. So here's the thing. Do I go for it this turn? Do I just try to draw into the rare candy and attack? I think no. I think the play is just to evolve into a hakama -O and get a fresh hand, see if there is something that I can set up a little bit further. And crap. Well, um, I draw into all of my supporters. Oh, uh, that's annoying. I end because I don't want to get rid of it, and I get in an I get another hand where there's only one playable card. I really don't want to like discard all of those cards, 
But at the same time, I mean, I... I might just have to so I can get at least a decent hand. Because, I mean, this is just kind of like a, well, here is every supporter you ever wanted in the world. All in one hand. Like, uh, just, here you go. And, of course, I draw my Kikui as well. So that's just absurd at this point. I don't even care. I'm just sycamoring away all of those because I'm tired of that. And, okay, I finally get something playable. Let's Ultra Ball get rid of the Lele and the Fire Energy because I can just super add that back in. Grab a Coma O so I can... Well, I could start attacking, but I need the High Dragon as well. Let's Double Dragon up my other Hakama O. And I actually don't need to play the Rare Candy onto my uh, Hakama O. But Hakama O... I, okay, J I played the Double Dragon onto Jangma O. And I played the... And I played the Coma O onto the Hakama O. Oh, these names are killing me right now. But I do have a Lele in my hand. Unfortunately, I literally got rid of all my draw supporters last turn. I was just kind of admittedly overreacted a little bit. I was just kind of sick of drawing into every supporter every single turn and nothing but. Maybe my opponent will end me. Um, no, he ninja boys. What's he ninja boying into? Uh, oh, I guess he's just getting another Glaceon. Uh, that's fine. My opponent will be able to take a prize this turn. But I do have my Coma O in the background. That'll be able to start shredding for two hit knockouts on these Glaceon. Uh, unfortunately, literally all of my supporters are in the discard pile. Well, all my draw supporters. However, I do have Lysander that can potentially knock out a... Uh, that can knock out a Jolteon or a Rangaroo or Regice or something. And of course, I draw into my Rare Candy. Oh, this game is killing me. This game is killing me right now. Uh, I'm going to grab the literally the only supporter in my deck, which coincidentally enough might not be a, is actually a pretty solid supporter to have in my hand because if my opponent ends me, great, I get a new hand. If he doesn't and just crystal raise, well, all of a sudden I will be able to heal up 60 damage off of my Coma O and go from there because crystal ray, while it is great for shutting down evolution decks, it doesn't do enough damage. It doesn't do nearly enough damage. My opponent could potentially attach a... Uh, oh no, please don't have a Tauros. Because I know that these decks like to run Tauros. Okay. He does just grab a Manaphy. That is fine. That's all good. Um, but as long as my opponent isn't able to Ninja Boy into a Tauros, I should be okay. Does just Crystal Ray for 70 damage. I draw into a hakama -O. I will might as well go ahead and evolve that guy, and then, uh, do I want a PCL now or later? Might as well, because, I mean, I'm not going to heal any more damage. And this way, if I draw into a VS Seeker off of my prizes, or a Lysander, or something like that later, I can do it. Uh, actually, I forgot I wasn't able to get a knockout. I mean, either way, I'm in a good spot, because my Como only has 10 damage on it. My opponent just has Glaceon that he's going to be attacking with. Yeah, he can rough seas, but at this point, even the Fighting Fury Belted one, I don't think will be healed enough to where he's going to be able to uh, avoid the knockout by a 160 damage shred. So I still think I'm in a very, very good spot. I mean, yeah, he can keep Crystal Raining, but all I have to do is just shred in order to be able to take knockouts. So I'm in a great spot. I will go ahead and put another Fire Energy, potentially get another... Coma O set up in the background in the event that my opponent is able to knock out my active. And all right, I just draw into a fire energy and a choice band. That's exactly what I wanted. How did you know? Uh, he will be able to go into his Glaceon. Well, his other Glaceon. But again, like I said, will not be able to avoid the Oko or the uh, knockout from this point with the Shred. And he goes into his Jolteon. Okay, Jolteon's just going to get one shotted by a Shred. What's my opponent going for? And I mean, he can't even like potentially. F oh, I guess he's just going to go try to grab two prizes. Maybe. Um, he n nest balls for nothing. Uh, flash rays knocks out the shaman. I mean, that's two prizes, but you know what? That's just one less attack that my Como has to take. And this way, my opponent can't even knock it out with like a, with a Kakuid, with a Kakuid, uh, crystal ray next turn if he had hit me with a flash ray so 
As weird as it sounds, I actually prefer that my opponent knocked out the Shaman as opposed to damage my Koma O. Because, I mean, again, Koma O will be able to just steamroll right through him. Let's go ahead and shred. I'm saving the Ultra Uppercut in case my opponent gets like a. In case my opponent grabs a Tauros with a Finding Fury Belt or something like that. Something that I will not be able to one shot with Shred, but also wouldn't want to put a bunch of damage on. Uh, he is going to go ahead and grab the... Well, he's just going to heal up his Glacian. I do have a Coma O for next turn, even. So my opponent just goes for a Team Rocket Tandy work, and I think... Ah, uh, he discards a High Dragon. That's fine. I really think... Yeah, okay. Even if my opponent had retreated into a Ranger, I would have been able to knock that out and then just set up a uh, 100, almost a 100% win next turn. Um, yeah, I mean, I win right here. I'll be able to knock out this Glaceon with a shred and there are both my lysanders right at the last two prizes of my well right at my last two prizes but yeah so uh i'm actually amazed that coma o was able to do something in not one but two matches granted we are against the literal one matchup in the entire metagame where como actually could do something so uh yeah that was awesome glaceon is a very strong card in this metagame i believe even with lele there but como o was able to actually beat it just because that stupid shred attack that shred that goes through abilities weakness resistance any effects on your opponent's pokemon como o is still garbage tier don't get me wrong it is horrible it is it needs a ridiculous amount of support from the next set in order to be decent but you know what? The fact that it was able to actually take on and beat Glaceon, I'm going to consider that a win. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And this is Sticks signing out. Why not? See you guys.